Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and you may recognise this skein of cotton yarn. I have dyed it twice already and I'm going to dye it for a third time today with the same colour which is dark brown fibre reactive dye from Dharma. Hopefully this will be the last time I dye this. <laughs> I have measured out uh, I don't know how much, just a little bit of this dark brown fibre reactive dye from Dharma and I'm going to just mix it into some water. This is uh, lukewarm water and I find that sort of helps dissolve it, the dyes a little bit better. Now all this equipment is dedicated for dyeing, I don't use it for food. And I have, I've got my gloves on, you can see, and I've got my mask on. Now, I'm just gonna hand paint this. Well, I'm gonna, I, I haven't got a, a brush that's clean at the moment, so I'm using the syringe, but this will pr provide the same sort of effect. I'm going to try dyeing about half of this skein this way. or until I've used up all of this dye, <laughs> whichever one comes first. And then I was going to speckle with the other half, but it looks like that's probably about it. If I can rinse this out a bit. Oops. <laughs> Being careful that I don't the liquid on too quickly. Now this is on some cotton, um, it's on some cling film and that cling film is on uh, a towel, just an old towel that I don't mind a bit of dye getting on. So um, this will hopefully stop any spillages on my table and make it a bit easier for me to tidy up. I was trying to, I had a patch there where I didn't add any of the original dice. So I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit, get it all even. <laughs> oh gosh, I should have thought this through a bit, shouldn't I? Oh well. So that dye is in there. Now let's make sure my hands are completely dry. I have um, still got my mask on. Now I'm just going to Sprinkle some dye powder on this bit. I'm not gonna be, t I'm not too worried about getting complete coverage on this because it has been dyed twice already. And there is, you can still see some dye on here from when I've dyed, dyed it before. But I'm not going to flip this I'm just going to speckle sprinkle on the best I can these are not speckles stop calling them speckles they're just bits that I've sprinkled on I think that'll do hopefully we'll get some breaking I do love it when these fiber reactive dyes break and just because I've got dye on my fingers I'm just going to wipe it off here no point in washing it down the drain when I can just <laughs> wipe it on here Oh yeah, I think I can see some breaking. This is a very red brown. Yeah, you can see some lovely pinks coming out of this. It's a, and there are some yellows. And I know this breaks into blues as well. Can't see any blues at the moment. But I know <laughs> I have seen them before. Now, as this is cotton, it doesn't need heat. Just needs time. So I'm going to wrap this up and leave this somewhere out of the way and hopefully a little bit warm. It is November, so I can't guarantee how warm it will be. And I'm just gonna leave this for the next 48 hours at least, and then we can wash it. Been well over a week now. Uh, oh gosh, there's a lot of dye on this one. Wow. <laughs> I think there's gonna be quite, quite a lot of runoff on this one. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of orange coming out of this. 
Now I'm not worried about all this runoff because that's what happens with cotton and fiber reactive dyes. The, the dye doesn't completely exhaust to your fabric in the same way that uh, acid, di acid dyes do with, uh, uh, with animal waste fibers. So with this is gonna take quite a bit of soaking I think. Uh, I'm just adding a little bit of washing up liquid. This does help to dislodge dye that we don't, that hasn't bound to the yarn. I'm washing a lot of cottons at the moment, as you can see. So I'm just gonna add this. Hopefully there won't be any back staining, but I'm gonna soak this and I'm gonna change the water every, I don't know, probably every hour or so until the water's running clear. There's quite a lot of that orange. I may, actually I might keep that one separate because there is quite a lot coming off and then once it's running a bit clearer, I will add it to the rest of this. I think I'll soak, I'll soak it in the little box that uh, has been storing all this yarn. Yeah. I cannot believe that I have dyed this yarn three times already. I love how the browns break because um, because the browns are made up of the different color color pigments, uh, they it just breaks into these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And then you've still got areas over here where you've got long patches of the of the same color, and there's just it's different tones, different shades, different colors all throughout this yarn, and it's just gorgeous. I love it. I wasn't expecting this yarn to end up quite like this, but I think it looks fantastic now. Look at that yarn all wound up. I think it looks fantastic and that it's only come from this one colour that I've, yes, I have dyed it three times, but it's still the same colour the whole way through. And it's got all these gorgeous different colours and tones in there. And I just think it looks lovely. And um, what do you think about this yarn? Let me know down in the comments. I publish dyeing tutorials every Monday, usually around about 6 p.m. UK time. And I do like to experiment with different things. Uh, I have never dyed yarn three times before. <laughs> this was a, uh, a first. I could do it again. What do you think? Let me know. I do try to do different things in my videos, so there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.